Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionFit.com, and this is the AM Volatility Report reminder. None of this should be considered investment advice, consult your financial professional. Options have risk. Hey, uh, we have a blog post last night, and we have a webinar tonight, 8.30 p.m. p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, if you go to our blog, OptionFit.com slash blog, the link is in the blog directly below this video. Uh, so go and get it. Uh, we may put one directly above this video too. So all sorts of reasons to uh, register for the webinar. It's going to be on condors and butterflies. Doesn't get any better than that. All right. So let's talk about the market. Here we are. We're flat again. VIX flat. Uh, slightly up. Uh, I think that'll change. I think they'll, uh, they're will they going to let this thing go. They're going to let this dog die because um, uh, – you know the volatility is uh, just not there. The last couple of days, we've we've stopped again. Um, I'm flabbergasted. The futures continue to have some strength to them. Um, uh, it's uh, you know the March future is has rallied about 50 cents this week. April has right back to 14.83. So there's some some movement there. There's some some strength there again. A little surprising, uh, but not entirely shocking, I suppose. Um, I think something's going to give. I, I think at this point, honestly, March futures are now have gone from completely underpriced to now way overpriced. Um, I would be a, a set up some sort of a short trade against uh, the March future. Uh, maybe the I'm looking at maybe uh, like the 13 or the 13 and a half puts or the 13, 12 put spread, something like that. Um, I just feel like the, the futures moved too much now that it's trading at uh, what a 1.7 1.65 premium to the cash with uh, you know well less than a month ago uh, VIX most 1213 you could look at that and say well it's only 1.4 still probably a little stiff with uh, 29 days and a wake up 28 days and a wake up so I think that uh, at a minimum it's, it's a healthy normal uh, at a maximum, it might be a little overpriced. Uh, looking around at the rest of the market, uh, Apple had a nice uh, nice little run here. It's been flat the last couple of days. Look for that to change. Facebook had a huge pop the other day. I think we'll see some follow through. Uh, maybe not today, but uh, but this week. We're all starting to rally in this thing. Uh, I think it's going to move higher. Um, and uh, your your Googles and Amazons aren't doing much today. Uh, Tesla had earnings last night and at one point was up big and it's now down uh, 13. Uh, stock was, was kind of way over overbought into earnings and uh, so it's, it's unsurprising. It's still underperforming its straddle. So there's that. Um, JWN had earnings this morning. It's down on earnings and uh, as you know, we've kind of called the last few days. Not, nothing huge, just three percent. But uh, clearly, they didn't like the earnings. Uh, and interestingly, vols higher. So, uh, you know, no relief. Oh, you know what? It's after uh, the earnings aren't quite out yet. I, I'm sorry, they're after the market. But it's down today. Vols real high. Um, we'll be interesting to see what that thing does. I'm I'm less than excited about it. TGX reported yesterday and missed. Um, but they did announce a big stock buyback and an increase in their dividend, so it's moving. Hey, yeah. Uh, oil uh, up today. I mean, it's been super range bound. I mean, look at this: up, down, up, down, up. Look, boom, 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 boom. Not really doing anything. Uh, the vols now 25%, relatively cheap. Uh, bonds, you know, they've been stiff. Uh, you know, keep an eye on that. And uh, gold, which, as we all know, I'm not a fan of, uh, up again today. So it uh, looks like it might be running to 120. So, you know, it looks like we're going to creep higher. Eventually, we'll see the VIX red today. So uh, uh, that, that's that's the way I think the landscape lines up. All right, folks, uh, if you got any questions, you can email me, marketoptionpit.com, or you can call me, 888 trade Zero one. Have a great morning.